Welcome to the Master and Cell Effects tutorial with Battery 3. In this tutorial, we want to give you a quick overview how to enhance your drum tracks and improve your sounds with effects. If you have your kit loaded and you want to make it sound better and punchier, you should first of all start with the single instruments and cell effects. At the moment, our kit sounds like this. Select the cell you want to edit, and then click on the Effects tab. You can see the different effects that can be applied to each of the individual cells. In this case, we mainly process the bass drum, the snare, and the hi-hats. Every effect has an on-off switch and a list of presets to choose from. The saturation function can give a sound a lot more punch and attack. With standard drum sounds, a bit of saturation can shave off the peaks, thus creating a more harmonical, rich attack. The EQ filter effect can change the frequency characteristics of a cell in various ways. Therefore, you can select the type you want to use, for example, a 1-band, 2-band, or 3-band EQ, as well as all kinds of low-pass, high-pass, or band-pass filters. Just grab the curved knobs to edit your sound, or select one of the many presets. The new Pro Compressor offers a high-quality algorithm for audio signal compression. Compression controls your signal's dynamics and is commonly used in recording. It reduces peaks and raises low-level signals to produce a higher average signal level, thus creating a hotter sound. Then we have a phase inverter that is usually applied on a kit with more microphones on one drum. And the sense for the global reverb and delay effects. Here you can determine how much reverb and delay will be applied to your selected cell if you enable the reverb and delay master effects. Finally, you can pan your signal from left to right and define your cell's output volume. Your drum kit should now sound like this. The little arrow in the Effects tab allows you to save your entire channel strip with all your changes to a preset file. Now, let's head on to the Master Effects page. Here you can find the same EQ, filter, and Pro Compressor as on the Cell Effects page with the difference that these are global effects affecting the complete drum kit. Another important tool is the master limiter that helps you reduce peaks in your signal. This mastering tool is useful for making quiet components in a mix louder while restricting loud components to an optimum level. The master delays can be synced, and there is a visual representation of the delays with a lot of presets to choose from. Remember that you can adjust the intensity of your individual delay amount for each cell with the effects page send knob. In the same way, you can define the reverb sends.
The master reverb has two modes, a classic digital reverb and a high quality convolution reverb. These are selectable by clicking on the two buttons at the top of the section. The digital reverb comes with 20 presets to choose from and it offers the typical parameters like size, color, damp, or mix level. All the things you can change will be displayed in the reverb display. Convolution works by essentially taking a sample of an acoustic space, for example, the impulse response from a wood room, and using that as the basis to model the reverb. Here you can load your impulses from an impulse response library, and you can even drop your own samples directly from the matrix onto the waveform window. Finally, you can define your master output volume as well as your master stereo outputs and again, save your entire master effects strip. Your master drum kit should now sound like this. If we compare it to the unprocessed original kit, the results are astonishing. We hope you have fun mastering your beats with Battery 3.